You've heard everyone say it at least once. Oh man, I'm so hyped for this new game coming out. I can't wait to play it. They're excited, they're happy, and the game is already sold to them. Companies love hype because it's pretty much the sole thing that sells games. Without that need for a game, why would anyone blow their money? But hype is a dangerous thing. It promotes a lot of bad habits that a lot of us take on, and really, it can make us negative in a few different ways. Well, what do I mean here? When it comes down to it, there are three things that hype can do to you. One, it continues to make you happy no matter what game comes out, what reputation the company has, and no matter how many times you've been screwed over. Two, it can make you very cynical and get you to the point where hype for you simply doesn't exist. And three, it can actually cause a negative hype effect where any game comes out and you're the guy who's being so pessimistic about the game that you're proactively trying to dissuade others from its purchase. Now I'm really only going to scratch the surface of those because it isn't the point that I want to make in this video. However, I have been asked many times which type of individual I am, and the truth is, I'm the second. The cynical type. I've not been hyped for a video game since Binding of Isaac Rebirth, and I don't think there's a video game out there that could ever hype me up again, unless they announce Red Dead Redemption for PC one day, but until then, I just cannot get hyped. It's not like I don't want to. I would love to be excited, love to be able to go to my friends and tell them that I cannot wait for the newest shooter, the newest action adventure, the newest platformer, but the industry has made me cynical. Every time a trailer is presented to me, I don't think about how fun the game might be. I mean, there are occasions when I think about that, but not to the degree where I feel as though I need to go out and buy the game full price, let alone pre-order it. Games are a media that changes as the game exists. A year after its release, it could be far more appealing, and it may be far worse. And the issue isn't that I can't afford it. I have other games to play. Games I already know are fun, and games I don't have to worry about changing for the worse one day. Down the road, when the top-selling game of 2000-whatever is released, I can pick it up for way cheaper and possibly have an even better experience than the guy who bought it day one. But am I saying that you should all just not buy games? Well, no. But the fact is, there are people like me out there who've been so wronged, so cheated, and so crushed by the industry they love, it's hard to get hyped about anything that these liars cook up. However, there are certain aspects to hype that can counter what I've said, and there are some that explain what I mean. Let's get into them real quick. The first one is games being delayed. No Man's Sky is a perfect example of this. Now, when No Man's Sky was first being trailered and teased, I had no interest in it. I didn't care about the game whatsoever. Everyone was asking me if I was going to pick it up, if I knew anything about it, and the answer to both was no. The game was a game that I maybe wanted to play in a few years when the price went down and the hype was over, when I could experience it from my own feelings and not everyone else's overblown proportions. But then, the developers came out and said, the game will be delayed on all platforms. It's not running the way we want it to, and we want to make sure that it's in working condition before releasing the game. After hearing about this, I was interested in the game. Before, I barely knew anything about it. I didn't care. But then I saw the developer actually delay the game because they care about the product and want it to work when it's released. I actually found in me a bit of hype in the form of hope. See, I will always wish to support developers who show me that they care about their product. I know a lot of people who hate it when a game is delayed, but a game coming out unfinished will kill a company in my eyes, and it would take a lot to entice me to invest money into a company with this kind of track record. Now, could No Man's Sky still come out playing like crap? Well, of course it can, but the fact that that game was delayed gives me that tiny inkling of hope. On the topic of No Man's Sky, though, there was something else they did that appeals to the topic at hand. The other day, one of my subscribers who has been hyped for No Man's Sky ever since I met him asked me how I felt about them making the game a timed exclusive for consoles. The PC version of the game was delayed, and a lot of people seem to have an issue with this practice. Now, these are my opinions, and I hope you know that, but I have no issues with timed exclusives. I'm not that impatient gamer who needs the game right now. Like I've said many times before, I have the Binding of Isaac to play. And waiting a few extra months to play the game isn't going to somehow give me a worse experience. The company may have needed the money, or maybe Sony and Microsoft made them an offer they couldn't refuse. I don't blame them for that, and I'm not upset. Now, this could still be because I have no hype towards the game itself, but again, it doesn't bother me, and this transitions into the third and final aspect. When it comes to timed exclusives, I don't see the point. Waiting another month to play a game would never entice me to buy an inferior platform just to play the game a few months early. Sure, I can play the game now, but is it worth the lower frame rate? 
The lower visuals and the lower resolutions that I'm used to. Call me an elitist, but the reason I stopped playing on consoles is because of all the restrictions. And I'm sorry, Sony, but me waiting another month isn't enticing enough. That console is weak and it's on its way out anyway, so why would I even go for it? But the reason I bring this up is because I see timed exclusives similarly to the way I see console exclusives. They aren't locked away from me forever. One day, I'll be able to emulate Bloodborne, Uncharted, The Last of Us, and Little Big Planet. The only difference is I paid for No Man's Sky, and yeah, it's a bit annoying, but not anything to lose my mind over. I'm perfectly happy playing the millions of games I have access to on this platform. One game coming out a little late isn't going to get under my skin. Again, this could be because I'm so cynical and can't get myself hyped for the game, but it's the only way I feel about it. This industry is going to continue to screw us over, at least it's going to try to. Games are going to continue coming out half-baked, broken, maybe a bad port every now and then, but I tip my hat to the companies that at least outwardly look like they care. Like they're actually trying, and as much as I'm not interested in their game, I might just buy it down the road simply because of them showing me how cool they were. Pro-consumer business is rare and hard to find these days. In a way, it's like finding a soulmate. Some of them are broken, some of them want your money, and some of them just want to screw ya. But so long as you look for the right qualities, you're likely to make the right choice. So what if you have to wait a bit longer? It will totally be worth it for the superior experience alone.